Okay, this is a wicked lesson this one. This is Snow Patrol Room. It's my first lesson for months now because uh, I've been getting a bit carried away with the old singing like so uh, I thought I'd go back to a few lessons but uh, but the idea of my YouTube channel is really just to, you know what I mean, I want to show everyone you know what I can sort of do or attempt to do music uh, wise, you know what I mean. But, uh, but anyway, this one here, yeah, if you don't want to listen to me play play it fast forward to the lesson but uh, here we go pretty much it. So uh, what I'll do, I'll put the camera here like all my other lessons and uh, I forgot how to blooming do it, it's been that long. But uh, anyway, hopefully you'll be able to see my hand. Right, at the start what I was doing is going like that, okay? What we want is forget the other bit for now. Second fret, third string down with the index finger, okay? Then miss the third miss the fourth and go on the fifth fret okay with the fourth string down with the little finger all right now that's quite a stretch that you know it's quite awkward the way your wrist and everything is to sort of play this but uh, but the way i'll play it like you can actually bar it all off and all that but the way i'll do it is like just play it, play it through the power chords so like push you on just these two strings just go for, just try to emphasise them when you pluck it, you know what I mean? So you go like, and then it moves up. So we go from there, with the index finger, leave the little finger exactly where it is, okay? And go from the second, go, and then slide it up one fret, okay, to the third, third, so it becomes the third fret, third string down. And then remove it, so you go, so you go, okay, and then you move up, okay, and what happens here is your ring finger comes down to the second string down, okay, and that's on the fifth fret, like so, okay, so we go, okay, second string down on the uh, fifth fret, leave the uh, little finger exactly where it is. Okay, so from there, there, and then go to there, and the index finger goes to the very top string of the third fret. So for that chord there, we have got the index finger is on the very, very top string of the third, the ring finger is on the second string down in the fifth fret, okay, and the little finger is on the fourth, okay, so just play that. Now, you can like bar it off all the way if you want, or you can just play the bass with the top and try to emphasise them when you pluck them, which is how I play there, right? So, let's run through that again, so little finger exactly where it is, and we go. Slide up one, then remove, then go up to there. Sing one last time for you. And then we will do go. Whoops. Then the. Don't even 
it was the last night in all I've done. Okay, so basically, let's just run through that again. If you haven't got it, I'll try to keep these fingers out of the way. Okay, second fret, third string down, fifth fret, go for the fourth string down with the little end. Go for that. Slide up. And then remove that. Okay, so go second fret on the third to the third string of the third. That's the slide. And then remove. And then up with the ring finger to the second string down in the fifth. And bring the index finger to the third fret top string. So we go from there, to there, to there, which is just open with the little finger, up to there, and top string. Okay, so that's the start. I think I've really gone over that before I send everyone to sleep. Right, the chorus. Okay, basically you can play it with C, so louder, louder, and then to the G. To the F, and then this middle finger, remove that, to the like F minor sort of thing. Yeah. So basically, with the C, I've not, like you play C like that, play it a bit of an old school way with the bass on it, okay? So you put the uh, ring finger onto the top as opposed uh, to the second string down, yeah? Whack him on the top, get the little one and put him there. That's nice job done. Okay, so that's C. And then G is played like that. But with the ring finger, drop him up again. Go on with the little one at the bottom, like a bit of an old school G. Go for that. Minor. To the A, then just remove it and play that. It's all the way for it, it sounds like this. C. Let me just look at the time. Okay, what are we up to? We are up to eight minutes, right? I've only got about a minute in this save to show you. So basically, we go C, G, A minor, F, and bring the middle off F minor. Okay, if you want to learn the chords, go on my channel and you can watch all the chords you need to know. But as I said, this is an intermediate, so hopefully, you do know how to play them. Right, for the strumming. You go, so you go down, down, and then I like go up, up, down, up, I think. So we go. So we go down, down. I, can, I, I can't explain the strumming. Every, everyone in all my emails always asks, but... It's like, you know, I mean, you can probably play with down strokes if you want or whatever, but just try to get a rhythm that suits you, so it's like, you know, like... So these are all down strokes. Up, up, down, 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 up, like that, so... same all the way through but I'm going to have to cut the lesson there because otherwise I won't be able to upload it.